Greetings, hopefully everyone's doing well today. Uh, this is gonna be a quick video tutorial on how to use Thesis to access WordPress custom fields. I also have a little bonus in here, so hopefully everyone will enjoy. Uh, I'm kinda doing this uh, tutorial on the fly, so bear with me. It's gonna be like the second time I've used uh, Camtasia to capture anything, and I think it's gonna be a lot better quality. So let's do this. Our goal today is to access WordPress custom fields to build basically a slider. I'm going to go over the code uh, in a couple weeks on how to build the slider, the whole slider, but what we're going to do today is actually uh, just access the, the images that you upload to Thesis. So let's go over basically what we're going to do. On my, on my personal site, we have um, I, I've built a custom slider. I kind of just fool around on this site, uh, use it for most of my testing. And what we have is uh, we have a slider that goes back and forth and rotates through the four most recent posts. Before we get too much into what this thing does, um, basically how it works is anytime you write a post, you have the ability to obviously write the post and Thesis allows you to upload a post image and alt tag. And when you do this, like let's say I put in something new here, we would uh, go ahead and hit update post and Thesis would go ahead and crop, crop the image and uh, assign the URL that you put in there to a custom field. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can actually see where Thesis puts this. And it puts its Thesis post image, and we'll see the same URL here. So our goal today is to be able to access this, this actual custom field right here. So what I've done is uh, basically I've created a training uh, video, and I realized that when I was when I was writing it, I didn't want to show everyone because I, uh, I didn't want to show everyone that visited my site that, that I was actually like working on the site. So basically I, I came up with a quick uh, way of doing it. What this does is, uh, I'll go over this later, but basically let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna comment out two of my other functions that are running right now so I can go ahead and show you how this works. Um, so what we have right here is, uh, basically we have a standard hook and then we have the call for it. And uh, like I was saying, I, I didn't want all my visitors to definitely actually see the site differently as I'm uh, showing you this video. So what I've done is this is my IP address. And what it does is um, basically anything that's in this array, it won't allow to like, it, or it, it'll only show this hook to anybody that's in this array. So basically I, I use this for testing and you might find it useful if, you're, if you have a bit of traffic and you don't want everyone to see the customizations you're making. So basically, we also have a couple, another conditional that says if it's the home, let's only show this on the home page. These are pretty basic things. Hopefully, you guys are, are still with me. Um, and now, our, now for the main bulk of this tutorial, our, our goal, as you may remember, was to pull in the, the, the thesis post image. And thesis actually runs its own query, and you can modify uh, the, the query there. But uh, instead of doing that, because that'll that might mess up some of your other pages. We, we create our own custom query in this example and anyone that's familiar with the loop basically we're, what we're doing is creating a new loop so we start with a global post and a global more actually I don't think we need the more for this tutorial but I, I use it because you need it for uh, my slider so we'll just leave it in there uh, so we, what we do is we create this custom um, query we just want one our most recent post and uh, while we have these posts go ahead and do this. So basically what we're looking for is the key that we, that we wanted. This is the custom field name. So I just took this and pasted it in here. It's our custom field name. And then I basically create a thing array. So uh, get post custom values and then the key. And this is a query telling WordPress get f for, for this post ID, get the, the key thesis post image and put it in an array. And then this is the first in the array. So we now assign the value. Okay, so, so now we can do all sorts of fun things. Like in this example, I'm going to not use short code because I might lose someone. Um, image source equals echo featured image. So what this does is let's go ahead and test it. It should just show our most recent uh, image from whatever post we have. So let's see if it works. It does. It actually shows it here and you could do this for as many posts as you want or with any tag you want 
so that we could do four like I do on the slider. And this would just show all four posts in a row, or all four post images in a row. So now we have access to these. And if, if you think that the um, that this is only limited to these custom fields, we could set up our own custom field like, um, uh, let's do training text. So we just go ahead and hit add custom field and uh, let's update the post. I don't know if you need to, but we're just going to do it on the safe side. And let's change our key to this. And uh, we'll show one post. And let's change, since this is an image, I'll change this to holding array. So now what we can do is to echo out, we can echo out our featured text. And this should show us, granted I'm doing this on the fly, hopefully it shows us our um, text we just put in. Yep. Hey, this is a great tutorial by artofblog.com. So there you go, quick run through on how, how they work. Uh, hopefully you find this a benefit. Uh, I kind of was doing this on the run, but I wanted to get it out there because there's a couple questions I saw uh, that, that people were asking. So hopefully this has been of use. If if you have any questions, feel feel free to con or contact me at uh, through the contact form on artofblog.com. Thanks.